this is the third week of using our Easter Blossom stamp set. I've already used these three, so today I'm going to use these two stamps and you'll see me use the egg next week. So today I'm going to use the Little Girl Silhouette and the Happy Easter stamp. Also what I have pulled out is some scraps that I had from a workshop. So as you know I do workshops regularly and sometimes I have leftover materials and you might have remembered the pink card that I did recently that I did have a YouTube on. I'm going to actually use the scraps from that kit in order to make this week's card. Start with the end in mind. This is basically what it's going to look like. It's going to look a little different than this one but this is the general idea. I'm going to get started by putting that hole, that window, in the pre-embossed cardstock. Left hand corner. And I'm going to hold on to that because that is a great mat for something else. Now I have this situation. I'm just going to take a pencil and just kind of put a little line on each side which will help me know where to stamp the little girl. And I'll put that on the side. Sometimes I'll use craft inks. So the marker, the craft inks, they can help a lot with these silhouette images to get a really solid image. I've got it thoroughly inked with the marker and then I'm going to stamp it to the left of that area that I marked earlier. And I'm just going to hold down for a second to make sure it's well inked. And I think that's good. I get that nice image there. And you see my little lines. She's a little bit to the left on purpose for the room for Happy Easter. Okay, now what I have done is I've pre-stamped Happy Easter with a stamp -a jig so that I can line it up the way I want to. That will give you your guide. Then, when you're ready to stamp, you put the, the stamp basically where you want it on the image and now you know where to put your stamp -a jig on the edge. I'm just going to ink this with some black ink. Paying attention to where that dash on the right is. I think that's fine. That's good. And then I'm going to stamp this straight up and down. Being careful not to rock. So now I've got the greeting on top of the silhouette. silhouette. It's a very light color of ink and then stamp with a dark color of ink on top of that light color of ink and you get this really nice kind of watermark effect um, which is a little bit better than a watermark since we have these beautiful colors involved okay so all I did was just erase the pencil marks and then I just used a paintbrush to wipe that away I'm gonna get rid of all the extra stuff and I need to do the mounting here. I'm going to take one piece of the ribbon and kind of wrap it around. So I'm going to use my scissors. Just cut a piece of this off. And I'm using two-sided tape today. I don't like the tape I'm using. I prefer to use tacky tape, but I don't have any today. So I'm using what I have. I have some two-sided tape that I just picked up at a um, office supply store but I really like tacky tape the, the, the red tape for this because it's strong and it works well with the textured paper okay so then I'm just going to I had put that if you don't know if you noticed but I put the tape on the back of the focal point in, um, paper and then I'm just wrapping that around so that gives me a little bit of ribbon there it's already a little bit different than the one I showed you. My little ribbon fell off. See, that's why I like that tacky tape. It's way better, guys. Get the tacky tape from Stampin' Up. You'll be so happy with it. The cheaper tape just doesn't hold as well. Okay, so then I'm going to rub that in before I remove the back. And put that down so that it's matted on the ivory cardstock. I'm going to put a few pearls on this before I call it done. 
So I'm going to pull out some of my stamps. But these rows of pearls, you can literally pick up a whole row of pearls. You can pick up the whole row and then put it down as a row. So here, I think. Okay, so you got that kind of thing going on with the pearls, which I think is fine. Now let's get our flower ready so we can finish this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these away. So these are all leftover pieces, so I'm not going to use the big ones today. And I'm just going to pull it off the camera for a second. So I've spritzed this with some shimmer paint. I also hit it with the uh, heat gun a little bit only because you guys are waiting for me. In, in reality, normally I would not hit it with the heat gun. I would just let it dry by air because I find that the shimmer stays better. But I hit it with the heat gun so I can continue the video. And all I'm doing is layering. And in that space, instead of using the brads from the very first one, I'm going to actually use a little bit more the edges of these petals. And I can use, like I'm doing here, as a little pin to like roll them up. Just giving it a little bit more dimension than it already had. And you could have done this rolling after it was dried before you put them together. But sometimes I like to do it after just so I can kind of see the real effect of how I'm rolling. Because the way they're layered impacts how Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both a bow, so now I have a bow that I've tied, and I'm going to take a little bit of twine as well and tie a bow with that. So what I'm doing is I'm actually creating what's called a layered embellishment. And I'm going to put that right there, and it's going to be literally underneath the flower to give me a layered look. Okay, so how am I going to get that down so that it won't come up? Well, I'm going to use my glue gun. And guess what's really funny about me using my glue gun today is that my glue gun is pink. I'm going to use my glue done to put that glue down and then drop down the twine and then I'm going to put glue on top of that and on the back of my crocheted ribbon. I think in the case of the ribbon I'm just avoiding the pearls. And then finally, I'm going to use the back of the bread to hold the glue. And I'm going to push that into the bow. I actually didn't glue it exactly on top of the knot. It's a little bit further back. So this is our focal point. So we just need to get this on the card. So I have the Blushing Bride card stock. videos that everything goes bad. Put this down. You've got your card. So one thing I might also do is just take a nice piece of nice paper for the inside of the card. So I'm going to use these even though I wouldn't normally Ran out of glue, ran out of adhesive and everything today. Ran out of tacky tape, ran out of adhesive. It's one of those days. So I'll just put that on the inside. And there's the card for today.